Hello my YouTube friends. Today I'm going to show you how to add cool audio visualization animations to your live stream to create animated overlays. Try saying that three times real fast. These can be used to add cool animation frames to your cameras like this. I'm also going to show you how to use masks with your camera in OBS to create shapes for your camera display or any other media source. Everything I show you here today is totally free to use so anyone can do this as well. Let's get to it. <laughs> If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. The tools I'm going to use today are listed in the description if you want to follow along with what I'm doing. And we have a lot to get to, so let's start with the plugin for OBS. Now this plugin is going to allow you to do audio visualizations on your screen, and it's called the Spectralizer. We start out here on the Spectralizer plugin page. Up here in the top right corner, you can see go to download, so we're just going to click on that and we're going to select the appropriate download for whatever machine we're using. In my case, I'm using Windows. I'm gonna use the installer for Windows, but there is a Mac OS one here as well. And now that we've downloaded it, I'm just going to open up a browser window here, and I'm gonna to go to my downloads and double click on my Spectralizer install. And I get this Windows protected PC because it is a plugin and it's not from any specific location or publisher. I'm just going to go ahead and click more info. So it gives me the option to actually install it. I'm gonna click run anyway. And once we get through the administrative privileges, we're gonna come up to a license information. We'll just click next. Now it's going to ask you for the install location. So just make sure that this is where your OBS is actually installed and click next. And now it's going to tell me that OBS Studio already exists, which of course we know, because it's already on there. Now it's going to create a shortcut and all that kind of stuff. So it asks you what it wants to be named. In this case, Spectralizer. We'll just click next and it's just going to verify everything. You can click next. And of course, I'm going to get a nag screen here because I am using OBS Studio to record this video. So at this point, all I'm going to have to do is close out of OBS Studio and click next until it's finished. So you're not going to see that because I can't record in OBS Studio and, you know, install something on OBS Studio. Now that that's installed, let's pop over into OBS and set all of this up. So let's open up our OBS here. You can see I have a scene loaded with just my camera. And so what I'm gonna do to create sort of a visual animated overlay is I'm gonna load in a static overlay first. And I created this one through Placeit, but it doesn't matter. You can create this in Pixlr or anything like that. I'll show you a little bit about Pixlr when we're setting up the second one, but creating a visual overlay is pretty easy. And you know what? We don't even have to use a visual overlay if we don't want to. I'm gonna use it, but I'll show you in a second how you can do this without it. But I'm going to add this frame right here and I'm just going to scale this up maybe to about here. And what I'm going to do is just scale this down to fit in the overlay here. Pretty simple stuff. And I'm just going to use the alt and drag key here. All right. So now we have a pretty simple little overlay here and I can move it around, do whatever I want. Now we're going to add a little bit of animation to it in a really simple way. We're going to use that specializer, that tool that we downloaded the plugin to add some really cool animation to this overlay. So I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to go right here to the spectralizer and click OK. And it adds it right here. And this is what it's going to look like and right now there's no audio source. So let's add in our audio source. Right now we have the output capture and the input capture. So we'll just use the video input capture and there you go. You can see what this is gonna look like. You can select a color and I'm gonna use this little blue edged kind of outline color or something close to it. Let's see, maybe even something like that would be pretty cool. All right, so now we have that and it fits in pretty nicely. You have all kinds of adjustments here and I'm gonna get into all how all of this works in a little bit, but let's get this set up so it fits what we're trying to do. So I'm gonna take this right here, I'm gonna right click, go to transform, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and I will grab it and stick it up over here. And what I'm gonna do is just drag this out like that 
and we're gonna stick it on the side here. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that it's behind my overlay. So I'm gonna grab it and drag it down below the image. And that way I can kind of use the arrow keys and move it in a little bit there. And I'm gonna right click, go to properties. And this will allow me to set it up a little bit more. So right now we have enable automatic scaling. But I can turn that off and then I can just adjust the scaling to how I want it so it's not going off the screen or anything like that. It's pretty simple. We can scale, boost it and all that kind of stuff. But you can see this adds a really cool animated effect to the outside of my overlay. I could put it down here on the bottom or up on the top. I mean, what I could do is I could drag, let's see here. Let's select my image don't want the spectralizer and we'll drag this down here to the bottom and we'll take this and I'm going to rotate this again let's see transform we're going to rotate it 90 degrees no, that's not what we want so what we can do is transform flip it vertical and we'll put this over here and we'll just add this kind of to the top of our overlay like this And we'll move it up. And now we can adjust it again down here in the scale size. So it's not peaking too much, but this does give us an animated overlay kind of thing. Now, if you don't have this, that's okay. Let's just remove that and we can move this up a little bit. We'll move my camera up a little bit here and we'll resize this a little bit. No, nope, that's the image. Let's move that out of the way here. And we'll resize our spectralizer a little bit. And what we can do is we'll put it up here at the top edge. And remember, you can use the arrow keys to move this around. And then I'll just put this below my video. And there we go. Now I have that up there. What I can do is right click it and we can go copy it and we can paste it as a duplicate and I can go and right click it again, go to transform, can flip it on the vertical and then drag it down here. So now I have spectralizer on the top and the bottom. And what I can do is just move that below there. So it's behind my camera. And now you can see I've got a cool little animation that can go along with the box around my screen, which is really awesome. You can see this just adds some visual interest to whatever you're doing. Um, and you could put it all around. I can make a whole entire square just by recreating these. Now we have our whole entire screen kind of animated with this really cool visual effect. And this is pretty neat, but let's say you wanted to use this not as the centerpiece of your screen for your live stream, but you wanted to do uh, just a smaller screen that you were gonna use inside another scene. Well, there's an easy way to do that. And first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a mask. So to do that, we're gonna go into Pixlr. I'm gonna click the plus here. And we're gonna go into Pixlr. And I'm gonna use Pixlr E for this. So we're gonna create a new image. It's gonna be full HD, 1920 by 1080. That is the size that I stream at. And then what we're gonna do is create. And I'll zoom out here so you could see this is would be the size of my live stream. I'm just going to grab a tool here. We're gonna use the circle. We're gonna turn stroke down to zero. And so the fill is automatically this bottom one here, which is a little bit disconcerting, but Pixlr is a free tool, so we don't argue. I'm gonna create my circle. If I hold down my shift key, it will guarantee that it's a perfect circle. And now I'm gonna just use this to bring it up. And I can resize it if I want to. And we're gonna try to resize it and center it the best we can here. And there we go. And then I'm gonna just go to File and Save. Now we want this alpha area right here around the outsides. We're gonna call this mask because I saved a couple out already. We want it to be PNG so it saves the alpha around the outside so we can see through that. So we're going to go ahead and download this. What I'm gonna do is go into my download folder and I'm going to take this and move it into the location where I store my files here real quick video. 
audio visualizer okay so now we can open up OBS again and here we are let's just get rid of this whole scene here we're gonna remove all of these and we're just gonna work here with our image for a second and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use alt and I'm gonna remove that crop I have there and I'm gonna right click on here and we're gonna go to filters I'm gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to image mask and blend and I'm going to browse and we're going to select that mask three that we just created here. We're going to go to alpha mask with alpha channel and there we go. How cool is that? Now we have a nifty little camera circle and this is so easy. Anybody could do it. It's all free tools. So now we have a nifty little camera circle. I can adjust the size of my camera and I can put it down here in the corner. Let's say we were going to play a video game in the background. I'm not going to play a video game, but I'm going to load a video source that has video game footage in it. So I'm going to go here and let's see here. We're going to use this Witcher we'll loop it, even though it's pretty long, but there we go. So we need to move our camera up above here. So let's say we're playing a video game and our little camera is down here in the right hand corner. And for now, I think I'm going to turn off the video source just because I don't want it to be distracting. I want you to make sure that you can see what I'm doing here. So we're going to go to the plus and we're going to add our spectralizer once again. And in this time, we're going to go to mode and we're going to select circle bars. Look at that. Pretty cool. Now our audio source, we have a couple of things to select now. We can use the media source. We can use the sound from the video game or whatever it is that we're playing. We could select that and uh, that would work. If I, if I turn it on, there you see, that's independent of my voice. That's just the video game music right there playing. So if you're playing music on your stream, you can use the spectralizer with that audio source. For this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and use my audio capture source. That's my voice. So you can see it moves with my voice. Now you can adjust this. Let's say we wanted one pixel. There we go. That looks pretty cool. We can go down here and add more bins. So let's say we wanted 50. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Um, I like to have a little bit of padding, so we'll go like that. Just just that little bit of amount there. That's nice. And I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, you can adjust the gravity, which means stuff will stay frozen at the top or it'll disappear quicker like that. I tend to think that the lower you set this, the more kind of flashy and annoying it gets. So I like to have the gravity set pretty high. There we go. And by the way, you can go in here and select the color. So let's say we want a flashy yellowish green here. That'll work. There we go. I'm just going to click OK. What we're going to do is bring this down. Right now it's over top of my video scene. So we'll just scale this up like that. All we have to do is put the spectralizer behind our camera. And now we have a nifty little background. I'm just going to move this around. Now what I want to do, I think, is we're going to go into the spectralizer properties here and I'm going to go down here to uh, enable automatic scaling and I'm going to adjust the scale size myself so that we can keep it on a much smaller scale. There we go. Now we can still have that animation but it's not so ridiculously huge. And we're going to select the two. We'll move back down here into the bottom corner. I don't know why that moved, but there we go. So now we have our camera with a cool camera animation down here in the bottom right corner. It's not too distracting. And now you know how to use masks in OBS and you know how to create your own custom frame animations in OBS really simply using just a plugin and all free stuff. So what does this look like if I change the audio? Well, let's go into the spectralizer here and I'm going to go into properties. Instead of using my voice capture, we'll use the media source. In this case, it's just game footage, but it could be an actual game if you were playing it. And there you go. Now you could see me talking, but the visual source is coming from the audio of the game. And you could see it obviously has a more dynamic range than my voice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the properties once again and I'm going to go down here a little bit and I'm going to adjust that scale size again. There we go. What I also want to do is change this hideous yellow color. 
something like that. Nah, that doesn't look too bad. And I want these bars just a touch thicker. Just adjust this down. If I don't like how small the bars are, I can adjust up this scale right here. There we go, pretty slick. Very simple, very easy to do. Now you have like an animated overlay for your image picture, pretty cool. To set up the mask I used in OBS, I used Pixlr, and it's a totally free image manipulation software. There are links below if you wanna check it out for yourself. You can use it to create any shape of mask for your camera or any other video source. So be creative and let's see what you can come up with. The Spectralizer is a really cool and easy to use plugin, but it's not my favorite plugin. That'd probably have to be the Move Transition plugin. What's your favorite OBS plugin? And if you wanna see my favorite collection of plugins for OBS, you should check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.